So you're considering moving to Atlanta, Georgia, but maybe the busy city life isn't quite your speed. No worries, because today we're diving into the top five most popular suburbs in the Atlanta area. Many people, whether from the West Coast, the East Coast, Midwest, or beyond, are coming to Atlanta for its charm and the opportunities it has to offer. So if you're new to the channel, you wanna stay informed about living in Atlanta and suburbs and the surrounding areas, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. My name is Yvonne Ace, part of a dedicated team that loves helping people like all of you make a smooth move to Atlanta. Whether you're moving in seven days or 70 days, please do not hesitate to reach out to us through any of the contact methods listed down below. You can call us, text us, email us, or schedule a free Zoom call consultation. And all of those contact methods are in the description box below. Now, let's jump into the top five suburbs in Atlanta. At number five, we have Decatur. Positioned east of downtown Atlanta, Decatur is a city within a city. For some reason, when we mention Decatur to our clients, they side eye it at first as if they aren't really interested, but if you're going to live in East Atlanta, Decatur is the best option. Now, my personal favorite thing about Decatur is I love how vibrant it is downtown. Whenever I hear the phrase Atlanta suburb, Decatur is the first thing that comes to my mind because in my opinion, Decatur captures everything it means to be an Atlanta native. Now, now, the downside about Decatur is that it may be a little bit on the pricey end, but the cultural richness compensates for that. Schools in Decatur have an average of a 6 out of 10 rating, putting Decatur schools in the top 50% of all Georgia public schools. And while living in Decatur, you do have a pretty smooth commute with you being around 20 minutes away from downtown and 30 minutes away from the nearest airport. The population in Decatur is around 25,000 residents and 57% of the residents do own their home. Now, let's explore some of the neighborhoods in Decatur. All right, coming in at number four, we have Peachtree City. Peachtree City is located south of Atlanta and it's known for its unique golf cart paths and its amazing landscaping. Now, when I first went to Peachtree City, I immediately felt peace in the community vibe. And also, and this is just a preference, I personally prefer more slower paced environments and Peachtree City definitely has that. And another thing I like about Peachtree City is about how clean it is. The community does a great job of taking care of it, making sure there's no trash laying around. And there is a lot of new construction going on right now in Peachtree City. So if you are thinking about moving there, this may be your sign to go ahead and start looking into some of the newer construction homes that they have available. All right, and the last thing that I really, really love about Peachtree City are the golf carts. Peachtree City is a golf cart community. Never in my life have I seen so many people riding golf carts. When I went to Peachtree City, it didn't matter if I look left or right, somebody was riding a golf cart. And me personally, I've never ridden a golf cart in my life. I've always been on the passenger seat or in the back. Next time I go to Peachtree City, mark my words, I am riding one of those golf carts. Now, the big the biggest con and the biggest thing that I do not like about Peachtree City, and this might be the only con that it has, is the commute to the city. It's going to take you around 40 minutes to get to downtown Atlanta, and that is without traffic. However, if you want to compare that to the quality of life that Peachtree City has to offer, and you're debating on which route you should go, if you're not too annoyed with having to drive 40 minutes plus every day, Peachtree City is definitely a suburb I would highly recommend you living in. Now, as for the schools in Peachtree City, the average rating across the board is a 10 out of 10, putting Peachtree City Public Schools in the top 5% across the entire state. Now, even though it takes around 40 minutes to get downtown, the nearest airport is only 25 minutes away from Peachtree City. Population in Peachtree City is around 34,000. 73% of the residents own their home. Now, let's check out some of these amazing neighborhoods Peachtree City has to offer.
All right, coming in at number three, we have Sandy Springs. Sandy Springs reminds me a little bit about the place I grew up in when I first moved to Georgia, which was Smyrna. With me being originally from Arizona, I'm naturally attracted to suburban environments, but Sandy Springs gave me the first taste of the city life. With its proximity to the heart of Atlanta, Sandy Springs offers a mix of suburban and urban living. I really enjoy going to the perimeter center area over there in Sandy Springs. There's a lot of dining, a lot of shopping that you can go and have a great time with your friends and family. As well as whenever I do visit Sandy Springs, I love to just drive through the neighborhoods and just admire the beautiful homes that they have to offer. Now, one of the downsides of Sandy Springs is that the traffic is very challenging. Every time I go to Sandy Springs, it's always so combobulated. And for some odd reason, this might just be me. Whenever I do go to Stanley Springs, I am extremely overwhelmed with the fast paced environment. So for those of you who like more slower paced environments, I would pass on this suburb because it's very, very fast paced here. Sandy Springs is located north of Atlanta, around 20 minutes away from downtown. Sandy Springs has A plus school ratings across the board and it is around 30 minutes away from the nearest airport. The population in Sandy Springs is around 114,000, around 59% of residents own their home. Now let's check out some of these Sandy Springs neighborhoods. All right, and at number two on this list, we have Johns Creek. Johns Creek is located upper northeast of Atlanta, right next to Alpharetta and right above Sandy Springs. Booming with development in the last couple of decades, Johns Creek has the perfect blend of modern amenities and Southern charm. Whenever I'm in Johns Creek, I can literally go into a store, leave my car door unlocked, and know for a fact that nobody's going to break into my car. Not saying that I have done that or that I would do that, it just goes to show you how safe Johns Creek is. Now, some of the downsides about Johns Creek, and this might just be for me personally john's creek is very family oriented so if you're a single person looking to have a social life at john's creek it might be quite difficult compared to if you were living in the perimeter and the second downside of john's creek is a competitive market homes in john's creek typically sell very very fast however if you partner with the right team the right realtor like us we'll be able to help you find your dream home john's creek also have a plus school ratings across the board with john's creek elementary school being top five in the state of georgia the commute is around 25 minutes to downtown atlanta and around 35 minutes to the nearest airport. The population in John Creek is just over 84,000. 71% of residents own their home. Now, let's check out some of these amazing neighborhoods that John's Creek has to offer. And now on to the number one suburb in the Atlanta area, we have Alpharetta. Now my top pro for Alpharetta is its community. Whenever I go to Alpharetta, I always feel welcome. Somebody's always holding the door open. Somebody's always asking me how my day is going. I'm always getting smiled at by the residents. Even though I live quite a distance away from Alpharetta, whenever I do visit there for whatever reason, they always make me feel welcome. So if I really had to choose a suburb to live in, it would be Alpharetta because the people there are amazing, they're nice, the residents are great. Alpharetta is clean. The school ratings are very high. It has some of the best school ratings in the state of Georgia. And it doesn't matter if you're single, if you're family, if you're looking to start a business, if you're looking to go to work. Alpharetta has welcoming open arms for everyone. Now, one of the downsides about Alpharetta is its commute. It takes around 35 minutes to get to downtown Atlanta and the airport. However, with Alpharetta's well-priced homes and its strong sense of community, depending on who you are, the good might just outweigh the bad in this situation, making Alpharetta the number one suburb for you. Alpharetta schools are highly rated, 10 out of 10 A plus school ratings across the board. It has a population of around 67,000 people. Now let's check out some of these amazing, beautiful, gorgeous neighborhoods that Alpharetta has to offer.
So there you have it, the top five suburbs in Atlanta, Georgia, which each of them offering its unique charm and with the proper guidance, you'll be able to find the perfect home that matches your lifestyle. And as we come to the end of this video, I just really wanna thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a like, comment down below your favorite suburb in Atlanta. It doesn't even have to be on this list. Just comment down below your favorite suburb. And if you're interested in moving to Atlanta, do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can contact us by text, call us, email us, or you can schedule a free Zoom consultation down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.